Welcome to my channel. Let's start this class lying on our backs, hugging the knees in, deep breath in through the nose, exhale, drawing the stomach in and up, squeezing the knees in towards chest, really exhaling all the air out. Inhale, relax. Let's do the same thing with the hands behind the head. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze all the old air out, draw the stomach in. And relax. This time we're going to stretch the legs out as we exhale, lift the head, reach the legs out, find the angle that you feel you're working, your center. Relax down. Next time we're going to hold that and start the hundred. So exhale, exhale, exhale. If you can reach your fingertips long and we're going to breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. In. Two, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. In. And two, three, four, five. Keep lengthening your toes and your fingertips away from each other. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Out. Two, halfway there, breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, in. If you need to, you can bend your knees. If you can't need to, you can support your head. 30 more, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, stomach in. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, last one, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, hold it for another second, draw the stomach in even more. Relax all that down. Stretch out the arms and the legs. Rolling up. So lift your head and shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, really engage the stomach. Rolling up vertebra by vertebra. Reach your arms, your fingertips forwards as you draw your navel back. Inhale and exhale. Rolling down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra reaching the arms back, feeling that beautiful length through the entire body. Keep going in your own time, exhaling, stretching over, stretching the whole back part of the body. Inhale and exhaling, controlling with the center as you roll down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. So if you can feel the space Spine getting longer and more flexible as we do this roll up. <sighs> Gonna do two more roll ups, working the center in an active way, going through the full range of motion. One more time, we're going to roll up. This time, take a moment to give yourself a stretch over your legs. Breathe. This time, as we roll down, you're going to keep the arms by the sides of the body on the mat. Bend your knees in towards your chest. Stretch the legs up. Inhale as you exhale. Draw the stomach in. Bring the legs in so your hips come up just a little bit. And then reach the legs away, controlling with your center. Lift and lower. If that's enough, you stay there. If not, join me in the roll over. Take the legs overhead, open them nice and wide, rolling down vertebra by vertebra, circling the legs around. Can I do two more in this direction? Opening and circling. Back, open and circle. This time we're going to open the legs, circling them back, closing them. Rolling down, opening, take them back, close the legs, roll down, long legs, one more time. Rolling down, keep the right leg up, reach the left leg down towards the floor. Gonna take a leg circle, so take the leg across, inhale, and as you exhale, whip it around in a nice big circle. Exhale around, inhale, Exhale, two more in that direction. How much length can you feel in both legs? The right leg, but also the left leg. Other way, so open the legs 
and whip it around. Exhale, inhale. Nice, big, generous circle on the ceiling. One more time with the right leg. Reach it out. Let's reach the left leg up towards the ceiling. Take it across. Inhale, exhale, whip it around. Cross around. Really find the connection to the center as you circle the legs around, the leg around. And let's go to the other side. So opening the leg and then around. Exhale. Inhale as you circle around. Really long legs, long arms. Relax your shoulders. And then you're going to hug both knees in towards your chest. Rock and roll up, a up the spine till we come to a sitting position. And we're going to take rolling like a ball. So holding onto the front of the shins. Bring the knees towards you so your feet are pointed off the floor. And we're going to roll back and up. See how round you can make your back. For those of us with a flat back, this is quite a challenging exercise, but it's good for us. Round and back. How round can you make your spine? Let's just do one more of those. For some people, it should feel like a really nice massage. For others, more like hard work. Bring the right knee in. We're going to go for single leg stretch. So lift the head and shoulders. Stretch the left leg as long as possible. And then we're going to change. Shoot the toes out as you bring the knee in. Pull the stomach in and a little bit faster. And change and change. Lift the head towards the knee. Just a few more of the single leg stretch. Relax the head for a moment and we're going to go for the double leg stretch. Bring the head up towards the knees. Stretch the legs out. Reach the fingertips really long, circling the arms. Squeeze the knees in towards your chest. Shoot it out long. Circle, squeeze, long. Stretch. Two more. Reach it out. Stomach in. One more time. Stretch. Squeeze it in. And let's rock up to the sitting position. Opening the legs a little bit wider than the mat. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhaling. Bring the chin down. I'm going to walk the fingertips forward, thinking of drawing the navel back. Really relaxing your head as you root your sits bones down. And coming up vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. Tall spine. And again, reach the fingertips forwards. As much as the fingertips want to come forward, the navel wants to come back. And relaxing the top of the head and the shoulders. As if someone's pulling us Back by the waist, coming up vertebra by vertebra. Long, long, long spine. Let's just do one more like that. Reaching, stretching forwards. The stomach pulls back even more. Coming up. Let's reach the arms up for the sore. So twisting, pinky finger towards little toe. Stretch it out, root both sits bones down. Let's take three little pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Coming up, lengthening, twist. Pinky finger to pinky toe, reach the other one back and pulse, pulse, pulse. Let's do it a little bit faster and pulse and pulse. Stomach in, lifting up and down. Two, three. Lifting up and down, two, three, coming up, just one more time, two, three, coming up, closing the legs, and then roll down slowly with control, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, and from here, turning over to lie on our stomachs. 
hands are going to be underneath the shoulder, legs are long, press down, reach the elbows back, open the chest, coming up as far as feels good for you, creating loads of length through the spine, bend the elbows back. As we do that, we're going to lengthen and lift the legs off the floor. So you might want to keep it quite small and quite slow, or if you like, you can do the full swan dive, rocking forwards and back. Lengthen the legs. Let's do one more like that. Staying for a moment. And then coming onto your forearms, push the forearms down, lengthening the spine. So you might just want to stay here in this position or join me in the single leg kick. So we're going to kick, kick the right leg, stretch it out and back. And then the left leg, we're going to flex, point, stretch it out and down. Kick, kick, stretch the, stretch the leg away, open the chest. Kick, kick. Reaching it away. One more time either side. Kick, kick, and stretch. Last one. Kick, kick, stretching it away. Ready for the double leg kick. So turn your head to face me. Clasp your hands behind your back and try and get your hands up high as you can and your elbows down as low as you can towards the floor. Bending both knees, three kicks towards the buttocks. Kick, kick, kick. Stretch the legs, stretch the arms. Bring the head to center. Hover there. Open the chest, open the shoulders. Turn the head the other side and we're going to do the three kicks. Kick, kick, kick. Stretch the legs, stretch the arms. Open the chest and turn the head the other way. Kick, kick, kick. Stretch arms and legs. Open the chest one last time. Kick, 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 stretching, legs, arms, chest, just hold it there. And let's turn back to lying on our backs. Press the feet down into the floor. As you exhale, we're going to start drawing the navel in, curling the hips up, lifting up vertebra by vertebra. I'm going to stay there for a moment, see if you can push the feet down even more, lift the hips a tiny bit higher, inhale, exhale, softening through the chest, rolling down vertebra by vertebra until the hips touch the floor. I'm going to do that one more time just like that. Exhaling, push the feet down, think of sending the knees forward and the top of the head back. Relax the shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, rolling down, vertebra by vertebra. Next time, I'm going to stay up for the shoulder bridge, bringing my legs a little bit closer in. Lift, 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 lift. Reach the right toes up towards the ceiling. Keep the hips up high. Going to lengthen the right toes down towards the floor, then kick them up. If you like, you can choose to point and flex the foot, really trying to keep the hips steady as high as you can. Let's do two more on the right leg. Bend the knee in, roll down, relax for a second, and then straight back up. Reach the left leg long up to the ceiling and then reach it down towards the floor. Kick it up. Down and up. You might want to point and flex your foot as you do so. Down and up. How high can you keep your hips as your leg goes down? Let's do two more. Last one. And slowly roll down. Bring your knees to your chest. Let's roll up to a sitting position. Stretching the legs, stretching the arms for spine twist. Twist towards me. Two pulses, twist, twist. Lengthen up, twisting away from me. Twist, twist. Reaching, so creating length in the spine and the arms and then twist, 
twist rotating and forwards twist twist up twist twist up one more time to the other side twist twist coming back and we're going to go for side kick so prop your hand your head in your hand you can have this bottom hand either supporting on the floor or back behind your head you can either bend this knee for extra support or stretch it so find the place that works for you create lots of length and we're going to take kick kick forward and as you stretch the leg back think of lengthening through the entire body kick kick stretch it back kick kick lengthening everything kick kick stretch it away twice more kick kick reach last one kick kick stay there lengthen 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 and let's do that to the other side so find the position your hand supports your head either straighten or bend the supporting knee and this hand can stay on the floor or behind your head and we're going to do kick forwards reach it back two kicks forward kick kick lengthening it back kick kick stretch it away kick kick reach twice more kick kick stretch 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 one more time kick kick stretch hold and we're ready for teaser we'll start off with the knees bent bring your knees towards your chest reach the arms back lift the head as you inhale and as you exhale coming up see if you can straighten your legs bend your knees rolling back Again, lift and if you want to make it a little more challenging keep the legs straight and sitting up teaser and and reach reach your fingers reach your toes controlling down lifting up and down. let's do two more of the teasers up and down last one up we're gonna stay 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 and come back to lying on our stomachs for swimming so we're gonna reach the right arm and the left leg lift them up lift the head really try and lengthen the fingers and the toes away from each other and coming back other way left hand right leg reach 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 fingers and toes you might want to continue just with that or for the full swimming lift up both arm both legs and then opposite arm and leg reach up and change and you can go faster and faster and faster as fast as you can while still maintaining the coordination and just relax for a moment push yourself to a rest position coming on to all fours we're going to stretch the legs out so that we're in a plank position and just hold it there for a second press the hands down lift the stomach coming back we're going to do it again stretch the legs out so you might want to stay there or for the leg pull front we're going to reach the right leg two pulses up up bring it down other leg lift lift lengthen and down engaging the center trying to keep the hips stable pressing the hands into the floor one more time either side lift lift and down once more to the left lift lift down coming down side bend so let's start off with that bottom knee bend press um, on my left hand into the floor stretching up 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 opening the side of the body really lengthening and coming down so you might want to keep that there 
or for the full exercise, stretch both legs up. I'm going to stay there. Lengthen, push into the floor, lengthen both sides of the body and relax down. Let's do twice more on this side. Reach, press down to lengthen out. And then one more time. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I'm going to turn my back to you for the other side. So let's all do the first one with a bent underneath leg. Reach it up. So it's really giving us the opportunity to stretch and open. And then we can decide if we want a bit more challenge. Stretching both legs out. Lift. Lengthen. And lift. Push that hand down, reach the fingertips to the opposite wall. And then two more just like that. Stretch. How much length can we create through the entire body? One last one. Let's finish off with a Pilates push up. Tuck the toes, reach the hips up, breathe here for a moment. Walk the hands back towards the feet, relax the top of the head over. Pressing the feet down, lift the stomach up as you roll the tailbone. And we're coming up vertebra by vertebra to a long spine. Rolling down, bring the chin down towards your chest, keep your stomach lifted. And then when the arm, the hands touch the floor, we're going to walk forwards to a plank position. First time we're just going to hold it, lift the hips up, walk the hands back towards the feet, relax the top of the head. And rolling up, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. Next time we're going to do one push up. Head down, arms relaxed down. When the hands touch the floor, we're going to walk them forwards. You might want to bend your knees towards the floor with control, bending your elbows back towards your ribs. Push, pushing back. All the way to the feet, rolling up vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. This time, three push ups. Rolling down, walking forwards, you can decide whether to keep your knees straight or bend, and three times, bend and stretch, bend, stretch, one more, lift the hips up, walk back, rolling up, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. And for the very last effort, we're going to do five. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, rolling down, lifting the stomach, walking forwards. And five, push, four, three, two more, two, last one. And pushing back. So just let's stay for a moment. Paddle the feet, bending one knee and then the other. Mm, reach both heels down towards the floor, lifting the sits bones up, creating lots of length through the spine. Walk the hands back towards your feet. Allow the arms to dangle. Relax the top of the head and coming up, connecting the feet down into the ground, lift the stomach, rolling up vertebra by vertebra. Take a deep breath in as you reach the arms up, bringing the palms of the hand together and bringing the hands towards the center of your chest. I hope you enjoyed doing this class with me and please subscribe.
so that we can do some more videos together. <laughs>